everybody. Welcome back to the Library Mouse. My name is Gina and something a little different. I thought that I would try my first ever vlog. So I don't know how interesting it will be. I don't know how many days it will encompass, but I love watching vlogs. So I thought that it would be a good way for people who watch my channel to get to know me a little bit better. So for today, one of the reasons I thought it might be cool today is I am joining up tonight with a virtual book club. I have never been in a book club before. I've debated about joining book clubs and, and in-person book clubs. I don't know if you're a person who uses a book club. Do you like it? Do you love belonging to a book club? I thought that I wasn't sure if discussing in depth, so in depth books, if I would lose my enjoyment of reading. I don't know. But this book club is virtual and it is put on by Modern Prairie. It is an app, a site started by Melissa Gilbert, who start in Little House on the Prairie, which is why if you watched my January books that I read video, you'll see that uh, Little House in the Big Woods was one of them because that's the one we're discussing tonight. So you can come with me and going on a hike. I love to hike. I like to take um, our dog Hattie. You saw her a little bit. She is a mini Aussie Border Collie mix that was rescued from an Amish puppy mill situation by someone. And we got her when she was six months old. We have another dog who's a yellow lab named Nellie. And we have seven cats. <laughs> you will see cats frequently. Uh, we fostered for a number of years for a cat rescue. I volunteer on Mondays now. So if this is a multi-day, as I was saying, if this is a multi-day vlog, I will take you with me to the cat rescue on Monday. But as foster parents, um, we've probably had around 100 cats and kittens go through our house in the last few years. And we wound up keeping a number of them. Our cats are all older except two. And you will see that was also with that one with the little kitten that you saw this morning. The mother cat is feral and she had them in a tree, in a hollow of a tree in our yard. We discovered them when one fell out. So we grabbed the kittens, we trapped the mom, kept them. Uh, mom escaped through the screen. She knocked it out and got out of a second story window onto a porch roof. I've been trying to trap her ever since so we can get her fixed. Uh, but we wound up finding homes for all the kittens except two of them. They were the two that I think were the least cute. And unfortunately, that's what people look for in cats, even though their personalities were wonderful. Um, so they live with us. <laughs> and you will see cats frequently because we have seven. So hopefully you enjoy the vlog and hopefully I will be doing more. I will probably get more comfortable as time goes on. This is the Kindle book that I'm reading right now. Currently, it is A Girl Called Samson by Amy Harmon. Uh, so far, I definitely agree with the rating. It's really, really good. Harry.
Here he comes. And then while we were standing here yesterday, a big chunk of ice fell. Ooh. It is. <laughs> this is one of my favorite places in the house. This was a really old uh, three season room with no real windows and no real floor. We redid it this year. I have to keep all these mismatched covers on because of cats, but it is one of my favorite places to read. And the sun at last in New York. Okay. I got a package from Amazon. Watch, I won't be able to open this one-handed uh, that I thought I would share. Um, I recently had to get a new uh, tablet. It's an Amazon Fire because my other one, I mean, the thing I've had since 2015, it was in a car accident and survived so i mean it finally bit the dust but i was always impressed by how well it held up Ooh, this is my new cover it's so pretty um and then i just got a, a glass screen protector i think I, I hope i ordered the right size but yeah this is super pretty Let's open it and see. Oh my goodness. Worst video ever. Ooh. That's really, really pretty. I love it. It's a really nice cover. Um, perfect. Now I can read without worrying that I was going to drop this. Okay, so you won't believe what I did. As you know, I've been waiting for book club all day. Probably for the last, I don't know, two or three weeks. I have participated in a group online. I have read the book. I suddenly it dawned on me today, like, why haven't... Why haven't I gotten a Zoom link for this event? And then someone else in the group was like, oh, I forgot to register. And now all the spots are closed. So, yeah, I went and I looked and I'm not registered. So I completely forgot to register for my book club tonight. It was the one with a uh, little house in the big woods. And like I, you know, I have never really participated in a book club before. I was looking forward to it, but it is not meant to be. So maybe I can watch a recording, although the recordings don't usually hold my interest. So I don't know. I guess it will give me some more time to work on YouTube stuff and plan out my next videos, read a little bit. I have been reading a lot today. Uh... My Deborah Sampson book by, I think it's Amy, Amy Harmon. It's so good. So good. And usually I'm a person, I like to read like uh, three, or, two or three books at once. That way when I get bored with one, I can just go ahead and flip flop back and forth. And I have not felt the need to pick up another book. So, oh, look at that. It's winter. We should not be having flying bugs in here. Um, it's a little moth. Must have come in when we came in. So anyway, had a great hike today though. And I got, I felt very good about being outside. And I've been working on some projects around the house. Being retired, being retired at first, was very, very enjoyable. I love being retired. Don't get me wrong. I love having time to myself. 
but there are days when I feel like I'm not doing enough and I'm not being productive enough or I'm not being, I don't know, like helping enough or doing enough. And sometimes it's really hard when you've been working since you were like in eighth grade to like just calm yourself and be okay with days where you're not physically working or producing something. That's a hard one for me. But today was an awesome day. Tomorrow's supposed to be really nice too. And I'll probably add some more to this vlog um, tomorrow. Yeah, so off I go to do something productive or not. <laughs> Good morning. I decided to go ahead and just make this a multi-day vlog. It's a beautiful day here in New York and some friends and I are going to head out this morning. One has a doctor's appointment and we're going to stop at this cute little diner for breakfast. Seeing how I feel about videotaping in public. Or being discreet so nobody knows what I'm doing. So, yeah, um, I will share what I can. Maybe do a little shopping. So, this is a get-to-know-me vlog, so I guess you'll get to know me. Um, yeah, so come along with me for my day of just having a fun little outing. So I made it to Costco, no, BJ's, and the ways that we hide, I thought looked really good. Um, I love, they had so much historical fiction. Ellen Hildebrand book that you saw up there is one of my favorite authors. I'd really like to check out The Boy with the Star Tattoo. If you see any here that you've read that you recommend, this book that I just picked up uh, I need to check out the title, but that sounded really good, too. Plant watering day. I usually do it on Wednesday, but we're watering Wednesday, but I forgot Wednesday, so now we're doing it on Friday. This is Dusty. He's my daughter's cat, but we're watching him until she can take him back. He's very eager to get outside. He's the only one of our cats who actually tries to get outside. They're always ready to dig up something. Hmm, what do you smell? I think she already dug that up, but there she goes. Huh? No, not interested. Okie dokie. It is a gorgeous day here. Oh, there she is. 55. We're just walking in the yard. <laughs> That's what we've got in us today. It feels good to get outside. I'm taking the other dog out with me now. Let's see if we can find her. She, oh, there she is. I do garden. This is a giant mess because I'm redoing it this year and reconfiguring because this is all honeysuckle and this was too overgrown, so we're going to be fixing that up a little bit. Oh, we don't want to see that. Oh, okay, I finished A Girl Named Samson, so I am putting it into my reading journal. If you haven't seen my reading journal, I do have a video of it um, doing like a little tour, but I have my bookshelves. And I mean, if you've watched people's reading journal tour. This is nothing unique. <laughs> Everyone does these. But I thought they were cute. So I have my key over here. So a girl named Samson. Samson is historical fiction. I'm going to put it up here and uh, color it in. And then, well, I have February. This is March. Um, February, I'm going to list it. That'll be two books down in February. So that's what I'm doing now. 
welcome back and it is already Sunday and you can tell that I am not used to vlogging because I totally missed two great experiences that I had over the weekend to actually vlog. Um, on Friday some friends and I went to a local university and we saw an amazing electric string quartet called Atlas. I will link them below. I know they have an Instagram account. They might have a YouTube but I'll check. Just amazing, four women, phenomenal musicians that play a wide variety of music. They did a classical version of Lady Gaga's Born This Way that actually may be included in season three of Bridgerton. And they do have music in the, like the, Bridget, the Bridgerton family of movies. Queen Charlotte, they have music in that. They've redone Legends of Zelda video game music. And then, of course, they have their own classical music that they've performed. So it was an amazing concert. And then we went to this little French restaurant for cocktails afterward. That was very fun to get out and do that. And then the following night, some friends and I went dancing to uh, this local band that plays 80s music. So it was a lot of fun. Today, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm waiting to see Usher. I don't know about anybody else, but we. That, my husband's not home today, and I probably will not be spending much time watching the Super Bowl. I don't know about all of you, but unless my kids are playing, I don't really care who wins. It, you know, it just doesn't affect me. So anyway, um, I'm going to be reading, so I figured the next two books that are on my TBR for February, I've got Stolen Lives. This is about the woman uh, who spent 20 years with her family in a desert jail when her husband, he was like a close aide of the King of Morocco, and he was executed because they thought he was trying to plot against the king. I'm going to read that, and then... I'm going to delve into this. I really would like to be able to share what I learned from this book. It's it's written simply, but it's not an exciting read. So I it's not one that I can just sit down and plow through this book. So I think having like an alternate to read is good. So that is on my list for the week. Thanks for sticking around this long. If you have, hopefully you've learned a little bit more about me. And I'll have a video up besides this one probably midweek. So check it out. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up if you like it. If you feel like it, go ahead and subscribe. It's always exciting to see someone new subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you on the next video. Happy reading.